Hello guys, I am back. Uh, this time, I'm actually just continuing off this thing. This is the same tutorial thing for the other thing. But, uh, no. This time, I'm going to show you how to make the enemy thing. The enemy HUD. So it shows their name and their health and everything. Quickly show you what that looks like. This. So, I'll show you what that looks like again. So we go here. Sorry, I couldn't get to this in my other tutorial video, but it was already 22 minutes long or something like that. And Once again, it's very loud. Okay, so pull out my sword here and turn on my the customized HUD that I showed you guys how to make in my last video. If you didn't uh, watch it, it's um, I'll put a list to the playlist that they're gonna be in and also the video. So, so anyways, when you hit the enemy, it's gonna show up this little thing up here. You can customize the name to whatever you want so you can use the same HUD for every single enemy you don't have to make a billion different HUDs um so yeah you just gonna this is all you gotta do and you can customize the name to whatever you want and then it just shows their their current health and their maximum health so if I hit them again then it's gonna go down to eight again then I did two damage so it's down to six five four three two one zero and you can see my experience went up and my money went up. My health is regenerating nicely. And to prove that you can do it with the other ones, here, I'll show you what these guys' names are. Those guys are Force Spider Level 1. And then it's Force Spider Level 2. So it's obviously different. So you can see the amount of health and everything is different. Um, and then there's this Black Widow boss that I made. You can see Black Widow level 4, and that's very different names. So you can obviously tell that you can make it, and you only need one different health. This guy's got tons of health, and he's crazy powerful. Wouldn't want to get into a fight with him in real life. <laughs> Even though he's a little spider, just step on him. Maybe I should put on some armor. Maybe I should. There we go. There we go. Now I got some stuff on so now I can fight him better. He can't hold me again. Still gonna kill me. Kill that bitch! Oh, I died. Well, anyways, you, you get a lot of this. You get the point. So now we're gonna start off by going back to HUD. Um, oh wait, I guess I better close this one and open up the other one. So we go start off by actually no, we're not gonna start off by going to the HUD. We're gonna start off by going to vari variables and switches, and we're gonna make name HP max HP. You can name this whatever you want, but this is just easier to remember, remember or whatever. So, make a new HUD. Yeah. One, call it enemy. Okay. And we're going to start off by just going here and field up here. And you can Color it whatever you want. For the enemies, I like it sort of a darker, darkish blue and then a purplish. So it looks kind of nice and cool. You can see. You're also going to want this one as health font. It just kind of looks better when you already have the other one health font. For the uh, other HUD. This. So then for the. 
this enemy name. Just so you know what everything is. <coughs> so your tree text will be, you go to global variables, make sure you made these in global and not the um, other ones, the local, you can't see them in here. So you're going to go to name, select, so tree text, name. And you'll see how this works when I when I make it. So this is already done. Now you can make a graph. Remember, always make your graphs before you put the numbers in front. Plus, you don't even have to have the numbers in front. If you just want the health bar, you can have that too. Numbers really don't matter. It just kind of makes it a little bit easier. So. Like this one, you know, this one's usually 256, a bit bigger, and then 32, a bit longer. I got my blue and my purple. Make sure this is on 5, and this one on 10. So make sure this is a bar. So, got, so you want to go retrieve value. Your tree value will be the HP. You retrieve maximum, you go to max HP. So there we go. That's for that. Okay. Get everything centered so it looks all nice. Okay, so looks nice. So now we're gonna make a field. And this will show their their health, like their current health. So I'm gonna make this however you like. Whatever colors you want, I just like this, that kinda looks nice. I'm just gonna put a thousand here. And their retrieve text will be HP. So it'll be this one. Put this one over top of here. Put that there. And we're going to make the uh, little spacer thing, so remember always a space than that. It's always lined up a bit better like that. Don't need any retrieve text or anything for this one, so put that there, right in the middle. Make another field, 1000, health font, color it how you like. And you can go to tree text, global variables, and max HP. Okay. So just put this one about here. That'll that should look good. Okay, so now we're good with this one. I want to go back to the main HUD and then make another timer. And put this one zero and then zero point one. Every timer tick, you want to go comparison branch and select global variables HP greater than zero. So if HP is greater than zero, then it will show. <coughs> so if HP is greater than zero, so if their health is greater than zero, then you want to make it so it will show the interface, so you want to go to enemy HUD, on overlay, yes, everything like that, and then just copy this one, paste it, and on the other side, just going to have to double click on it and make sure it's off, and make sure it's on enemy HUD. And you can just leave the overlay it, or, yeah, just leave the overlay it as it as it is. So now, whenever you um, hit an enemy, that's when it's gonna sh show up. So, because when you hit an enemy, then it'll show their HP. So now, to actually get this whole thing to work, you're gonna go to your starting map. I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger for this. So 
building. Some uh, nice blue tiles there. Let me get a bit better of an enemy here. Actually, try to make a good enemy this time. So we'll just make it neutral. Actually, no, we'll just make it bad. Make it sort of slow. And then this building will really be nice and big. 40. Button speed will be like that. <coughs> Make it have a knife. <coughs> we'll make it just a spider. Gray spider. With, uh, 30 health. And it will give it a 4 attack. So now it's behavior. I also want to give it so it gives me 5 experience and 10 monies. Cancel. I'm just going to have to turn this up one. Actually, you know what? No. Just have a 4. Which should be good. Oh, and I also want to make it, so I forgot to do some things. Let's kill and destroy this quick little tutorial, just having to show you how to make um, an enemy respawn. I'm just going to make them respawn really quickly, so. Invisible. Oh, I'll do that change the team. Neutral, just so when it revives, when it gets revived, then it will like attack you straight away. So now I'm gonna make a little four second delay, and then um, put it right back there. You can revive it. This, I'm gonna go health and set it to however much health it originally has, has, so otherwise it will just, it'll get revived, but it'll still have like only like zero health, or well, zero health, but it'll be alive, so it'll just be one hit kill, change health to 30, and then you want to change its visibility, visible, and then delay, just a one second delay, and then copy. This d the the bottom delay is only option is optional. Just you want it a second for it to actually start attacking. See, so you have one second just to realize that it's respawned. So save that. Now it's damaged. You want to do three different variable operations. The first one, you need to name set to whatever you want. So I'll just put the spider level one. So you got spider level one. Okay. Second one, I'm gonna go HP edit. Not edit, sorry. You wanna go set, click on this little box over here. You wanna go to after health this. Shift to this instead of main. So otherwise it'll just show your your guys' health. So you want this, so it's gonna show this this uh care or this air actors health instead of yours. And this one will be max HP set. You want to go to maximum health. I'm just going to type it in here for some reason. Maximum health. Not. Make sure it's this, this. Okay. Okay. So now you're good. If you follow exactly how, the, how I've made it, then you should be good. Save. Let's test this out. So first I'm gonna toggle on my thing. So you can hurt me. It's just my other thing over here, my uh, other HUD just to show you what it looks like. And then if you hit him, oh well, it was a one hit kill, so it didn't even have enough time to so make sure his health is good. Okay, I'm gonna change it up to 30 health because it's not enough health. Okay, just I hit him in one hit, so it automatically 
just turned it on and off at like the exact same time. Because once you kill the enemy, then the thing will disappear again. So it doesn't just stay up on your screen the whole time. So I'm just going to replace my um, thing with uh, something not so strong. So I'm like, okay. Let's see. Now let's try it. Now it will kill him instantly. So now when you hurt him, just turn on my HUD. Wait for this stuff to get out of the way because it's sort of annoying. So now when you hurt him, it will show up right up, right around here in the, the top of your screen. Spider level one it shows his uh, his maximum health, his current health, and his name. If you hit hit him, keep on hitting him. Keeps on going down. You can see the bar goes down too. And you kill him, and boom, it goes away. Your experience goes up, money goes up, and you're happy. Oh, and then he respawns, and then you're unhappy again because you have to kill him all over again. So, there you go, you're welcome, and thank you for watching my video, I hope this helps, um, and tune in for my next tutorial where I will be showing you how to do something I haven't decided yet. I'll decide one day though, probably later on tonight. Okay, see you guys.